What's up everybody in YouTube land? It's MudbugMiniTrucks.com, the legend in custom built mini trucks. Today we're bringing you a truck named Rover. It's a 2001, I believe, Mitsubishi minivan. We're going to go around, show you some of the things we've done to it. And man, we've got a treat for you today because there's so many great things done to this vehicle. It is freaking awesome. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to Nancy and Dave uh, over at the Jurassic Park Ranch and give, uh, say, man, we really appreciate your business. And uh, guys, this is a great way to advertise your business. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you see a lot of the extra stuff we've done. We dubbed the truck Rover. We just thought it was a classic name. These folks breed bloodhounds. And uh, as I get closer to the truck, you'll see some of the work I've done to kind of incorporate that into their truck. Anyways, you can see we brought, built the uh, brush guard up front. And I don't want to mistake the truck for Jurassic Park, but I did put a license plate right there. That 04 you'll see on the vehicle and other places indicates how many children she has. So we thought that was a great uh, way to uh, incorporate a number like you see on the Jeeps from Jurassic Park. That was kind of the theme we were running with. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the music for the background. I would love to put it on there because I think it would be fantastic. Uh, and, and maybe I'll see about hiring someone to help me put that music in the background. Not just this video, but others as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. You can see the whole truck is sprayed in bed liner. Got a couple little dog prints you see kind of crawled across the hood right there and you'll see we put a bloodhound up front now most bloodhounds are that deep red and you can see his eyes all bloodshot that's just the way bloodhounds are just kind of a nature of the beast and uh, yeah, I'm an avid hunter and uh, that's a pretty doggone accurate dog right there also you can see with some of the Jurassic Park little things here and there on it again we didn't Jurassic Park the truck we Jurassic Park it we did the uh, front light bars. You can see I try to make the truck look like a Jeep, at least to some degree. It's very difficult to transfer a transport a, uh, a minivan to a Jeep, but we think we hit a, a pretty good uh, pretty good mark on it. You can see we added the extra little lights, directional lights. You can see one here, one here, and then we added a little 18 inch light in the middle. And then we're gonna go around here and see just some of the stuff. There's that 04 I was talking about right there, 04 on the side. That's the number of the kids she has. And, uh, we thought it'd be a great number to incorporate in the van, knowing that uh, you know it needed a, a number, just like the Jeeps in Jurassic Park. Anyway, you can see we added a little four x four emblem in red. Looks really, really nice. We did a super lift on it. You see our springs are red. We did our uh, custom red rim. I can't remember these things, guys. I swear I do so many, I just can't remember them. And a vampire tire. That thing is just nasty. And that is a 25-inch tire. And you can see it's Jurassic Park, not Jurassic Park, but just a great play on words. Love the logo, and I think it came out spectacular. Keep in mind, guys, this is all airbrush work. But I had so much room to work, and it let me run free, and I absolutely love that when my clients do that because it gives me room to be creative, and uh, I go out of my way to make it freaking awesome. And you can see we got the jungle that's basically topping the wall at Jurassic Park. Put some nice floral look, some palm leaves, and some palm trees in the back. Just a great looking vehicle. We also added, uh, this is all a rock form, so basically what you're going to have is the wall at Jurassic Park, at least the entry gate is what I was after. And you'll see I put some spiders and some other things. You can see the wall is fractured in some places. Maybe something's trying to get out right there. And we're going to go around back and take a look and see what we've done here. Again, you can see the whole back. We'll back up a little bit so we can get a good picture of the gates the entry gates of Jurassic Park is right there I'm gonna go ahead and focus a little bit closer you can see I actually put the logo back here too just thought it was a great addition to the truck and again you'll see these little scrape marks here and there little claw marks I got them in various places there's so much to look at I'm sure I'll overlook something got an eye peeking through a hole right there in the wall just looks really really cool put the little lamps you know you can see the fire burning on the, each corner where the lights might light up the gate on Jurassic Park. And again, we put a rear bumper back here so I can put a little trailer maybe. And got a Jurassic Park license plate in the back. These, it, it was just a luck that I found this. And again, just something I ordered at the last minute. I just thought it tied the whole theme of the truck together. And again, you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot back a little bit so you can see all the brickwork we've done. And again, guys, this is all airbrush. Every single bit. Just just beautiful you might notice too we tinted all the windows i believe we did the very the three back we did those uh, limo and then we did about uh, two shades darker than legal 
on the rest of the windows and the front also has a uh, dark uh, limo bra. I'm gonna go around the sides here. Now let's go into the inside where a lot of the great magic happened. And uh, I'd like to say a uh, quick shout out to my boy Jesse over there. Did a hell of a job of my interior. He came out with some new, uh, he's got some new thread patterns and stuff we're starting to run with. And you can just see, man, it's just so much stuff. And if you need something done to your truck, guys, you don't always have to buy a truck from me. I appreciate the business. But if you have a truck and you want to trick it out, let's mud bug it. Check this out, guys. Even got the name embroidered in the headrest. Look at that. Just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. You want to see something that's over the top, guys, check this out. This is a handmade shift lever. I made this myself personally. This thing is a resin mosquito inside of an amber. And I actually use an axe handle right there. I cut it and carved it myself uh, with uh, various tools. And then I tapped it to fit. And it is just beautiful. It fits perfectly with the theme of the truck. I wish I can, maybe I go to the other side and see if I can get a, a nice clear view of that mosquito inside. Also, at the last minute, we added this Bluetooth stereo system, which is really, really nice. It is a jamming system. I would turn it on, but it would disturb my video. The truck is running at this time, so it's super, super quiet. We also added all this uh, uh, hydro turf on the floor. Nice, easy to clean, easy to maintenance. Just drop the seats and hose it out. Even went as far as to put the logo on the back. That, I mean, dude, the attention to detail is outstanding. See the little four inch speakers we put up on the roof here. Plus we got some hidden back here, some six by uh, six inch round ones hidden in the back here. Just, just awesome. Hey guys, I have a couple of these little minivans coming. If somebody thinks they might want to have one, let me know. I got an automatic and I got a standard available. This is a push button four wheel drive as you can see right there. And I'm gonna go around the other side and show you. Also has that high low transmission which is just awesome man look at this truck so much to talk about i'm sure i'm gonna overlook things but just a beautiful piece of work it's not perfect guys nothing ever is it's all man-made it's human made by me myself and three other men and uh it's just beautiful check this out let's see can i get in there check that mosquito out guys look at that there you go that might even help the view a little bit just freaking awesome and keep on it. That thing is handmade, man. I'm really proud of that because I think it just ties the whole truck together. It was well worth doing. And we thoroughly enjoyed the build. Everyone sees the truck. Just has so many questions. Anyway, guys, if you need a truck, I got deck vans, pickup trucks. That minivan is not for sale. That's my little get around car. I got brand new high jet jumbos back there. I got a little Jimny. I got deck vans in the back. I got two or three deck vans. I got a couple scissor lifts. I got any truck you need. I got a couple dump trucks. Uh, I got, uh, shoot, I, I don't think there's anything I don't have. I don't carry Honda, I don't carry Subaru. I'm not a big fan of the rear engine. I know I'm gonna hear a lot of grief about it. Just not a big fan. Anyway, guys, the star of the show today is Rover from Jurassic Park. And again, guys, I'd love to say thank y'all so much for viewing. It's always great when you tune in. I love hearing from you guys. All you guys in Canary Islands and Guam and, and Germany and Russia and all you guys who are uh, giving me a call and, and talk to me about the trucks and very excited to talk to me. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. Leave comments below. Uh, always try to be courteous if you can. Hit subscribe. It, just hit the little button below. Hit the bell. It'll let you know when the videos come out and you'll be able to see as we, uh, you know, as we produce trucks. I got some other trucks I'm producing at this time and uh, I just don't want to relieve them, uh, release them to the public just yet because they're not finished and I don't even want to peek at them yet. Anyway, before I keep uh, taking too much of your day, I'd like to say thank y'all so much for viewing. As usual, howdy from Texas. God bless and y'all take care.